<laughs> there we go. Chris, Christopher? Uh, Chris is great. Chris? Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> people, call, people at work call me Selter because my former boss was also Chris. And uh, he's like, dude, sorry, man. We have to go by your last name. What about Selter? You ever get that? Oh, bro. Oh, yeah? Every, every form. Okay. Gro- growing up, Fuck yeah. all that. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but awesome. Ironically, I, I always went by, not ironically, but um, interestingly enough, I went by Woody most of my life. Woody? Oh. How'd you yeah, get my, that one? My, Middle name? My PE teacher... Oh god! Like, that dude looks like that kid looks like Woodstock. He's got a huge nose. Huh. His, his hair is from peanuts. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Can you look that up? I need a visual here. So I feel it's like, like an idiot you know, not knowing that. A little bird. Yeah, and he's got like crazy. Oh, oh. Hawk. from Snoopy. Oh. Yeah, Snoopy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. It, it kind of messed up, but it's funny. Stuck. <laughs> wow! So I, I've been I've been Wood Woodstock Woodhouse Woodman. That's uh, so sick for most of my life. So most Woodster. of my friends, even my family, calls me Woody. Oh, damn. Wow! My wife calls me Wood. Uh, <laughs> That's a great I, nickname. At yeah. work, it's wish it's, my wife called me Wood. <laughs> 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 hey, it's Friday, bro. <laughs> Are you like a handyman? Does that like work that way as well? Um, I am super into like anything that functions or how does it yeah. work? Like, yeah, I want to yeah. crawl on the table and see how it works or in a, working on motors. I yeah. that too. With my dad, we grew up uh, restoring cars and fixing oh, yeah. bikes and motorcycles. And Where at? Uh, Where'd you grow up? Actually, I grew up in San Diego and then okay. moved to with my dad in uh, Etiwanda before it was on the map. Before like Etiwanda? Before Cucamonga was Cucamonga. Mm. Okay. So we moved up, up, up there in early 80s mm. and it was nothing but grape vineyards, orange Damn. groves, uh, light snow in the winter and motorcycles and BB guns. Yeah, and it, that's, that's awesome. what we did. That's sick. It was that sounds so super fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. How old were you when you yeah. moved? Uh, just transitioned from elementary to junior high. Okay. And, uh, early on. Yeah. So early on. Damn. And then ended up going to high school out there, and then finally made my way to college after redoing high school and community college. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Sick. And then when did you get into the creative space? Then. Well, here's the thing. It's like high school was kind of a drag. I ended up getting kicked out. I had to do continuation school. <laughs> I know. For, what'd you do? I was a mess. I was in <laughs> everything you shouldn't be. Hmm. Um, my dad's like, he pretty much defended me in a lot of support. And he's like, I know you, you're defiant against a lot of things, but son, yeah. you got You got to buck up. Yeah. It's the world and crave it. Think about a different way to attack it. Yeah. And you know, you'll be fine. So I um, ended up blowing the pipes out of the bathrooms with uh, oh, wow. plastic dynamites. Whoa. That's so classic. Know, it's classic, right? That's yeah. so full classic. Full bomb squad. Damn. Yeah, full bomb squad. Damn. And they, uh, they, they basically threw me out. And I did continuation school. My girlfriend hooked me up with all the all the homework. Hell yeah. Passed with flying colors. Was able to get back into high school and got all AP classes for creative in terms of like illustration or art or craft. They have AP creative had, classes yeah that ap way back then that's sick so i had ap getting a's in my my senior year but hey rock and c's on the rest yeah just to get through and uh my family's like hey you, you got to figure this out yeah. you want to do you can work for your dad in title business which he was super successful i'm like i, don't, I just feel like i needed to do something with craft or make yeah. stuff right mm-hmm. or, you know and which wasn't super popular for like um yeah kind of cons- kind of a conservative family like yeah. you want to do what <laughs> you want to do art? Yeah. You want to make a living? What are you going to do when yeah. you're 50, man? Yeah. So uh, my family looked at schools and he's like, what do you think? And we, we let, let's do the best. You know, let's figure out just into the best school there is, which is Art Center. So I attended Art Center College of Design. Sick. But formally, I had to redo high school in junior college to get caught up and prove that I had man. the academic power, right? So rocked uh, Pasadena community for a couple years, did some night courses at Art Center, and then finally got accepted and that's a that's an amazing place for sure you learn a lot they teach you like you're a a client services type of education where you're critiquing and constantly presenting and really refining your skills and honing in on like how to provide solutions for amazing problems and ended up doing really well there and got out in 96 Wow, dude, right? 96. Yeah, we were three. <laughs> That's a ways ago, right? <laughs> I know. It was funny. I was texting my boss this morning about something and this and that. And she's like, well, what do you think, Zelter? I'm like, well, I've been in this freaking industry for almost 26 years. So here's my opinion. Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, you are old. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, sorry, Zelter. <laughs> but 
ended up getting um, some pretty good gigs right out of college at um, a couple advertising gigs in Los Angeles and working on some big accounts. And that was good. Learned really quick, really fast. And from there, ended up uh, doing uh, additional places um, like Carlson Marketing and Los Kobe LA and some pretty big stuff. And I thought, all right, I'm ready for a change. So my buddy's a friend of a friend was opening up the dot com little agency, which yeah. was just coming online. Like, hey, man, we're going to build websites. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about it? Not really. Well, uh, what do you think? You want to start designing sites? I'm like, yeah, all right, let's do it. So I got I got hooked up there and was freelancing with those guys for a little bit and then got full time and learned the dot com for several years. And that was really insightful, you know, uh, to learn from a traditional like identity and branding background and, and packaging was my my uh, my focus in college. But to do something digital was something new. And that was really a lot of fun, like full development. Of yeah. Websites? And they were they were they were really turning because nobody really knew a lot about it. And it was kind of like a brochure site. Mm-hmm. That's what it was, brochure online, right? And then it got deeper in terms of, well, we, we can make even more if we provide content management solutions. And they started writing custom code for content management Interesting. solutions, which was a total freaking moneymaker because nobody knew anything about it. Yeah. So it's essentially there's, there's technical forms that write the back end of a website. And if you make that form something for your company's um, customer relation management team, they just basically fill out forms and it propagates onto pages. It's just writing code off with the, through the form. So if you create these backside management solutions for website owners, they have the ability to maintain their website, right? This is way yeah. before like anything we have now. Yeah. yeah. So everything was custom. And that was pretty, pretty amazing to watch. And um, they ended up being a super freaking ex- successful company, Convergence.net little boutique agency in Laguna. Um, and then I met, uh, through my hairstylist, um, one of the, um, one of the art directors at Quicksilver, I'm like, Hey man, they're going to be bringing on Tony Hawk as a professional athlete. You know, they got Slater for years and they're going to be doing some big stuff. And this is like in the heyday of quick, they just mm-hmm. moved from Costa Mesa over to Huntington, a huge corporate center off of, uh, uh, Graham street. And I'm like, all right, well, what, what's the gig? Is it on the surf side or what? I don't know. It's Tony Hawk, man. Dude, like, I was huge, hugely into skate as well. Mm. Like growing up. Yeah. Um, and then being up in, in Awanda and yeah. uh, Zone out to Loma, I, sur- I uh, not surfed, I uh, skated Pipeline, mm. um, the Badlands. And that was like the premier skate park. Other than that, than Del Mar. In Del Mar, I'd go down all the time because my mom lived down there and Tony was, you know, the yeah. established guy down there. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's Damn. Really Cool. So got picked up at Quicksilver in 99 to start designing their apparel, which I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> the Tony right. Hawk specific apparel? Yeah. Or? So okay. what happened was they signed him in as a professional athlete. And he had this little rinky deep uh, clothing line called Hawk Clothing. Yeah. And part of the deal was you guys are the, you guys are the professionals in apparel Quicksilver. So I want to develop a apparel line. They had like a five pack of T-shirts, I think a, a couple, a couple uh, pair of shorts and no accessories or anything like that. Hawk, yeah. shoes, Hawk shoes at the same time was just starting to take off. And it was a cut and sew designer myself. And he's like, dude, looks like you know graphics. I, I think you're a good fit. I'm like, bro, I'm pretty much getting hired. The art director told me I got the job. So yeah. just, so just you, pull me in. You were drawing <laughs> by in the bag. <laughs> like you were drawing pen to paper or you were doing? It was computer. OK, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, Adobe Illustrator for the most part. Gotcha. Photoshop. Was it those um, like skeleton eagle thing, or hawks, I guess? Yeah, yeah, it was. But it was predominantly focused for kids apparel, right? Yeah. It wasn't so much the young men's. Yeah, yeah. And we always wanted to branch there. We tried and it was semi successful, but ultimately it was a kid's brand. What, like, what year was that? That was 99. Um, for sure, I watched some of that. Yeah. I watched, I watched some of your product. Yeah, sure. yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> but it ended up freaking growing and growing and growing. And we built it from, you know, just a, a, a handful of items, Scott and myself. And then Scott ended up leaving the, uh, the cut and sew designer. And then Michelle came in, this gal who was really good at doing some edgier stuff. And then we had another gal, uh, Janine, who also helped. And then I hired on some bros. From the from the from the Newport Hood, where I hung out with, and we developed an amazing line. And by 2004, I was like, "All right, what's next? Kind of want to move on." And they ended up selling it to Coles for the licensing agreement, yeah. and they made buku bucks. Mm. They did a really big merger deal uh, or licensing deal, Dang. and Tony and his sister Pat 
just crushed it. At the same time, I think Tony was doing uh, Activision with Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, man. And he was just blowing up. Yeah. And Damn. It, you know, he must have crushed it back then. He was everywhere. Dude, it was insane. Those games were insane, by the way, those Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my was God. He, I'll never forget <coughs> that. Was he famous for the video games before he did the 900? Or was the 900 before that? You know, That's like, what really? That's a great like, question. I feel like the 900 kind of, like, pushed him towards ultra fame. But before That's th- a really good question. I, I would think guess it's almost simultaneously he's in the same zone. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously he was, like, a number one skater for a while. But Forever. Yeah. <clears throat> that wasn't, like, big enough to make you, like, your own apparel line and stuff. And if, yeah. Um, so... I don't know. I think I think no, that's why because he was in Bones Brigade, yeah, that, like original oh, skate yeah. group, and then he was marketable. Each, each one, like the top three skaters from that group, got picked off to like different brands. I, I didn't that's know Quicksilver started going. picked him up. I did not even know that. Yeah, I can, I can picture him with his helmet and the big Quicksilver. Really? Yeah. Side, yeah. Yeah. The other Damn. side was our Hawk logo and Quicksilver on the other side. Sick. Um, but yeah, exactly. Bones Brigade one and two. That was you those know, were so at sick. My, at my age, it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that was, was insane. So amazing. Yeah, Caballero, yeah, Gator. Yeah. Those guys what an are. era. Oh. Yeah. So wild. I'm, cool. I'm curious, too, to get to the Quicksilver part. As an art director at Quicksilver, yeah. <coughs> what, what kind of stuff do you do there? So it started out just hands-on design, right? I was the only designer uh, for graphics. Damn. And Scott for was everything doing everything Quicksilver? So, so, yeah. Oh, no, no, just for, uh, for Tony just Hawk Apparel. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did get an opportunity to move to the surf side to do accessories at one point. But um, my boss, Dave Rosie, I, I just couldn't fail him. I, there's mm-hmm. no way. We were, we're building something cool. Yeah. I was in it for the long haul. So to answer your question, it was mostly just graphics for tees to start out. And then as we grew, it became accessories, uh, specialty applications, which is like appliques, that type of stuff. Yeah. Um, then a full line of accessories with tees, or I'm sorry, with uh, socks, belts, beanies, uh, wallets, wristbands everything else, and then all the advertisement as well. So we did all the print advertisement, mm. and then the booth graphics, and uh, everything else that goes along with the brand. Yeah. Right? And gotcha. then we re- redesigned the logo with Tony, which was really cool. Cool. And uh, he had kind of a, a rinky-dink hawk head, and we revised it to a more slick rendition where it's, it's, it's morphed once again. But that was a really cool adventure to actually work on the logo with Tony, come yeah. in, and such a cool guy, yeah. relaxed, very, very like approachable and... Uh, appreciates your, you know, your formal opinion, and made a couple tweaks and um, ran with it. And that was that was cool. Yeah, Eli, do you mind pulling up some of that stuff? Like yeah. some visuals of the design stuff. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see that. Hot clothing. Yeah, man, he he definitely is probably the most famous of the Bones Brigade crew, right? Yeah, definitely. Most successful, I guess yeah. I should say. Yeah, that's wild. And I wonder what it was that really made him like the one. So, was this, was so that was his name? professional board graphic when he was yeah. first sponsored by Palin Peralta. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was that the, the skull that we, you were talking We about? did not use that because oh, that okay. was a different licensing. Oh, so that was, that was hands off. Should I look up like Quicksilver? Or? Uh, it's probably just hot clothing. Don't hot, hot clothing apparel. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a ton of fun. We learned a lot, you know? And yeah, that's awesome. I remember that stuff. Yeah, that's, there's some stuff right there. Yeah. Um, that one, that's the well. newer one now, but. Oh, that's definitely modernized. Oh, yeah. look at that one. That's the one that's where classic. I came on, which was like the, the dimensional head. Jeez. <laughs> wow. I remember seeing all that mm-hmm. stuff. I do like back to school shopping. Yes. Yeah, the so whole, whole counter of those. So I cut you off too, but you were saying oh, sorry. you were getting, I guess, burnt out at Quicksilver yeah. and needed well, something new. Shoulder hit. And there was kind of, kind of hit the ceiling there in terms of like, you know, growth and pay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That particular department, they were going to sell off to Kohl's, the licensing agreement. Like, well. Yeah, it's time to know. leave. I was like, if there was a lateral move uh, within Quick, I was going to do it. But, you know, things were getting a little shaky there. Like, the Rosignol acquisition kind of went sideways. They lost a bunch of dough on that. Uh, Bob McKnight was considering stepping down, so it was a little weird. Whoa. Kelly was only on his 10th world title. This is early <laughs> 2000s? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. And um, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to move on. So yeah. I ended up, um, my wife uh, ended up launching a um, all electric mobile dealership in Newport Beach. Whoa. So, which was crazy. All electric oh. mobile dealership. Yeah. It well, was she really was cool. early. Super early. <laughs> wow. She wrote the business plan for, for Ford Motor Company to meet the mandate for the California Air Resource Board. Wow. And they had, they had to meet this mandate. Like, you've got to have these chits 
Like you, if you don't sell X amount of cars, you're not selling gas guzzlers, gas guzzlers in the state of California. Yeah. You're, you're, you're done. So they had this little electric vehicle called an NEV, neighborhood electric vehicles. And they didn't know what to do with them or how to get them plated or get them out on the road. So she wrote a business plan and ended up getting basically 10 cars worth several hundred thousand. And she's like, well, what do you, what should we do? You know, and we were just kind of seeing each other at the time. And I'm like, well, let's kind of think about quitting quick. And why don't we just create a business, you know? And so it, did it like those? Yeah, exactly. It was the Ford thing. Uh, I remember oh, that. yeah. Yeah. So we, we were the first mobile dealership. Which one? Like the golf cart looking one? Yeah, it's a Ford Think. And so you or she and probably knows if uh, like there's going to be no longer be gas vehicles in the next 10 or 20 years. Uh, I think Whoa. it's definitely going that way. We got, by the way, we got clobbered in the media for that in terms of like opening up a, a dealership for all electric. Because, Why? Well, it was against the grain. You know, yeah. it what did they say? What, well, what? You know, you know, electricity comes from coal, don't you? Which is uh, predominantly it does. Yeah. That's reality. Yeah, that's reality. And it still does. A lot of it does. You know, despite the belief of renewable energy, it's you need cells and areas to yeah. hold the energy, mm -hmm. and then it can be distributed. It also taps the, the the grid a lot in terms of you know how it works. But we we're way ahead of our time. Yeah. yeah. She opened it up, so I opened up a little office within the office to help her out and still do creative. And then I started freelancing all over town because after that kind of experience in the apparel industry, I could kind of knock down doors and go to anybody. So I worked at um, redesigning o OP's uh, look oh, uh, so with, with uh, the Hild brothers, with Fred Hild. And um, yeah, Fred and I redesigned OP and gave them a new splash and then did some stuff at Lost, uh, did some stuff at Salt, did some stuff at Harley Davidson, did a bunch of stuff for Vans. And uh, still connected with some of the girls over there at Vans. Awesome. And um, that's all freelance. Yeah. And, and I'm like, oh, why don't I just open up my own my own company? Because a little you know, agency or something. Yeah. Any tax yeah. Yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So ended up opening my own doors and became a little boutique agency out of Newport. And we ended up getting um, a really cool little uh, office on um, the Alito, which overlooks oh, like right. where all the uh, the wedding boats are at. Yeah. Yeah, so Lido we had a Island. Cool right. little suite there. Yeah, we were actually living on Lido at the time. Oh the damn, business you're killing was it, crushing it. Yeah, sick. Killing and should have bought a house. We didn't. Oh <laughs> man, it's one of those things. You're yeah, like, oh, you buy a house then. What's really stupid? <laughs> Why are we paying so much rent? Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun, man. We had, a, we had a good time. Sick. That is really interesting. So I saw that you were art director at Harley Davidson. So was it that was stint or was that it was art direction for my company. Oh, so sweet. Basically it was, it cool. was consulting. Awesome. Uh, and they were a client of mine. Was that clothing or did you yeah. so dabble did, into like did, bikes um, or anything? We did uh, specialty applications. So we took um, all the leather jacket stuff and chenilles and appliques and felt and all of the welds and all that stuff and worked with Karen Davidson. And Karen and I, I would go up to LA once a month and show her a bunch of designs. And she's like, all right, cool. And then he, they had an in-house um, illustrator who was really freaking good. Like he had like eagles and skulls like on tap, right? Yeah, I like, bet. Yeah, that kind oh, of like right? a tattoo artist or something. Yeah, yeah, very similar. <laughs> yeah. Super well, super gifted, but didn't understand like the construction style, um, uh, technicalities in terms of fabricating things. So ended up doing like labels and trims, and then specialty applications for them, and did that for a couple of years um, while also juggling some stuff for vans and a few other clients and then it became like this thing and it just grew and grew and so i ended up having my own um boutique agency called x-ray and we um ended up hiring on a couple people and then i'm like oh what about all that dot com stuff i should be doing because these guys need websites i mean they need vis, vis id and packaging and branding but hey, you guys need a website too right <laughs> so, so then I started hiring on some of my older contacts and started creating these content management systems for websites. Mm. And so that grew the business like dramatically because it still was like very early on and there wasn't anything like out of the box in terms of, you know, web development that you can just tap into that was open sourced and very inexpensive. So we started creating that and where it became like a one-stop shop for like startups or branding, Viz ID. And uh, packaging solutions, website, I mean, car graphics, whatever you need. Yeah. Jeez. That, first of all, I was just thinking back to, I did not know that Harley Davidson made clothes. Oh, yeah. Is that crazy? I mean, I figured leather jackets. Yeah, they make, they make some really good yeah. stuff. So if you ever go into like one of their retail shops, it's like legit. Yeah. So be, they don't just do t-shirts and leather jackets. There's everything in between. They've got all kinds. You've of never seen do Harley you Davidson t-shirts? I've seen t-shirts, but that's over. what I'm saying. Like, 
Beyond T-shirts, I didn't know they had. They didn't do like cut and sew and whatnot. Do you mind? I just wanted to get a little no, visual they, here. They do like the cool uh, contrast sleeve cutoffs. They make cool jackets. Uh, oh, those are cool. I okay. guess like four bikers mainly. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, they're the, probably the most iconic. That leather jacket. Yeah, with the exactly. Like the lower leather uh, leather jacket. Yeah. There's the kind of stuff we were doing. Okay, yeah. Which I, is that's really cool. Iconic. Yeah, yeah, that's classic. I'm, I'm sure they use their name and just license the shit out of it for uh, other companies. Big time. They Put it on an electric bike now, too. Yeah, but it was cool to actually meet a, a Davidson. And that's sick. I didn't know. And when I, when I called in for the potential job, she's like, well, I'm, I'm Karen Davidson. I'm like, and it kind of clicked. Oh. That's so sick. Oh, I didn't know it was family. a family that runs <laughs> right. it either. Still involved. Is it wow. still private or no? No. It just, it just involved. Uh, actually, you know, don't mark my words on that. It, yeah. I don't know. But she was that. still involved uh, heavily and had a lot of say so in terms of the apparel line and uh, the branding and overall uh, appearance for the brand itself, which was pretty cool. Did you ever meet her in person? Yeah. Like once a month, we'd go up to Public. Uh, the studio. Does she look like a Harley Davidson? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they say 12 billion. It's public. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they, they make Not electric really. bikes now too. Speaking of, look at that total yeah. assets. They make twelve. Bikes? They make electric bikes. Oh, electric. yeah, they do. Yeah. They're getting into that too. Yeah. yeah. You want to pull that up real quick? Who oh, isn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt, right? They're yeah. electric bikes? I know. They're every. I mean, maybe not the Harley ones. I actually had, I don't think I've seen one on the street, but the the ones for kids, was it Suron maybe? You know those oh, ones yeah, that kind of look yeah. like little motos? Yeah. I wish I was a kid again because... That's a bummer. How sick are those things? Those so sick. Kids are do. I saw a kid do a tail whip off a jump when I was mountain biking. And I'm like, fuck, I wish I had this as a kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had like a BMX bike with like pegs and shit. Yeah, people are ripping the trails on those it's, bikes. Yeah, they're so... I saw a kid do a nose manual down That's Pico. Insane. And I'm like, damn, dude. That is That's so legit. sketch. But yeah, it was probably like two minutes straight yeah, nose this, manual. This guys are in I can see this right. on you. I Elliot, can, I are can, you on it? Uh, no, do red. Let's go red. I'm a red guy. Come on. Yeah, I'm done with red. Yeah. What <laughs> good is that? Then it's all chopper style. That's no. what is this? You like build and you pick your own battery or something? Know. This isn't Harley. That's a oh. random company. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Bahora. Where'd you bring us, Eli? That's what I know. This just I'd, came up. I'd hit that birthday present maybe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You guys want to split it? But yeah, she was legit. I mean, no, she didn't look like, look like a biker at all. Wow. Yeah. She's just like. Uh, might as well. It's my yeah. family. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Family business. Family business. I mean, yeah. that's a sick ass family business right there. Is she live in Milwaukee? Is she still based there? She was in LA when I, uh, but she did have. It's gonna hurt your she heart. She had her there. roots there. Um, she had multiple homes, kind of thing. She's yeah. like, oh, I'm here a couple months out of the year, and the work got, the work got really intense, and I couldn't keep up with it, huh. and I couldn't really hire somebody. The deadlines and stuff. Yeah, they wanted like bigger and bigger programs. And I felt bad bowing out of the work because I really love like the craft of doing appliques and like different ways to dye fabric or leathers and uh, different you know ways to stitch it onto material or come up with you know cool things. Yeah. And then she started getting into like she wanted to do like women's apparel for skirts and I'm like I'm not really a cut and sew designer but I'll try and I, I, it just got to be too much and other things were more lucrative. Yeah. To grow the business so makes totally. sense. Makes sense. So how did you get from there? Well, <clears throat> how'd you get into Taco Bell? I guess. Oh that's yeah, that's the elephant in the room right so now. That's the smelly elephant the right Newport, here. We ended up changing <laughs> business down to uh, San Diego. And uh, my roots are originally from San Diego where yeah. I was born. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, baby doll, I want to move to San Diego. And I'd be stoked if we could. What do you think? She's like, that's a big move. Uh, our daughter was almost getting ready to, to leave high school and go to college. And she, we had, we had, good amount of money in the bank to float the business and move it and do kind of a, a new startup down there, if you will, mm-hmm. in terms of location. We have a good following, but... Um, Taking a quick break from today's podcast to thank our sponsor, Ranch Rider Spirits. We've actually been friends with Ranch Rider Spirits for quite a while now. I don't know if you remember that can that we co-branded with them in 2020. Oh, yes. The Jal- jalapeno one. Jalapeno ranch water. Yeah, the ranch water. Yeah, a little bit of jalapeno cake on it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Which well, one are you drinking right now? I'm actually drinking the Chilton. It's got vodka, sparkling water, sea salt, and uh, there's zero grams of sugar added to it. Okay. Yeah. That sounds damn good. It is damn good. And there's no bullshit in here, let me tell you. Did you know that they were actually the first one to can a ranch water? Oh, really? Yeah. First company to it. Do wasn't it wasn't Hidden Valley? No. That's pretty cool. Yeah. At least in the spirit form. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to look for them in your local pickup spot, go ahead and look. If not, go to their website. You can search up all the retailer locations. Click on one button, boom, in your hand. 
but I'm not talking about dressing. No, we're talking about ranch rider spirits. There you go. I'm pretty thirsty right about now. I don't know about you. I could go for a drink. I would love some spring water right about now. Have you heard about Proud Source spring water? Oh, but it sounds really good. Oh, it's very good. Proud Source spring water. It's so good. Buy some now like you know you should. Proud Source spring water is a spring water bottled directly at the source. Sparkling, distilled. Either way, you're going to be proud to be drinking it. Use code SEEGERPROUD to get 20% off your order. Only one time use, so make it count. Proud source spring water. <sighs> oh, I rocked a glass, dude. Sorry. I know. Yeah, I was, it's sitting right there. <laughs> like, might as well. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's glassy. So we picked up the home, got the daughter um, registered in USF, and got her on her way, and ended up uh, carving out a really freaking cool place in the Spreckles Theater Building, mm. which is right on Broadway. Spreckles Theater Building. And it's been there for well over 100 years. Jeez. And it's, yeah. it's, it is freaking amazing. <laughs> and we ended up getting a dual suite there, overlooked uh, Broadway, and had part of that, like the big S from Spreckles, which is vertical typography, and it was lit up at, at night, and, and, you know, birds and cabs and the downtown scene. Yeah. And so we moved downtown. Wow. And, um, yeah, that's it right there. What the? You so had an our office, office right there? On, yeah, we had almost a corner suite. We were two. What? Right by the Spreckles right there. Yeah, that's yeah. in San Diego? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we had a dual, we had dual suite there. We ended up restoring it. And what? It was so Wild. cool. I mean, you walk into these places, and they were just under new management. So they were like, we need to lease them. You can kind of do whatever you want, but there's no AC. There's no heat. Yeah. There's lights. It's going to suck, but you're going to love it. As long as you better. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold in the winter. It's hot in the summer. Yeah. You're going to need an electrician, and you can do whatever you want. So we started, like, scratching off the paint, and it was this beautiful mahogany wood underneath stuff. Oh, yeah, like, hieroglyphics oh, in there. Dude, insane stuff. They had, like, these massive uh, steel walk-in safes. So I stripped it down, and underneath Fuck. it, of course, was all this really beautiful gold leaf, and ended up doing custom flooring and uh, we, wow. anyway, anyway we carved out a really cool spot what made you pick that that seems like so much work i, I mean it's obviously cool well, as hell craft, right yeah yeah anything to like wow refurbish something or that's do something fun and make it your own and mm-hmm. um when you walk in it's it's, it's temp- just like this place right yeah you walk in and you're like oh dude you guys are this is legit yeah, yeah? you get the vibe. Be home yeah exactly right. the cabin yeah you're in there presenting creative work you know you Gotta gotta Damn. gotta have gotta have the spices rolling. <laughs> Damn, are there photos of it, by the way, online? I, uh, no, I doubt. No? I've got photos uh, somewhere archived. Oh, my, okay. My, one of my Macs, but you don't have that place anymore, right? No, no, no. So it's, the story goes, moved down there, and um, to answer your question about getting to Taco Bell, oh yeah, uh, yeah. 2008 hit, and dude, everything was crashing. Yeah. All the marketing dollars started just disappearing. Nobody's gonna redo scopes of work. Next year, we're going to re, we were just going to use last year's graphics. You know what? If you guys want to help us with that and just be the production agency for that, that's cool. But nothing new, no new campaigns. Uh, and it just kind of shut off like overnight. You know, everything imploded. That's terrifying. It was. Yeah. So we had a major expense to keep the daughter in college at USF. And I'm like, well, baby doll, what do you want to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she's like, well, we got to save our freaking butts. Why don't you? got to get rid of the overhead so um we could still work you know operationally from a digital place if you will and hold on to enough clientele to provide for us and keep the the daughter in school but we're going to kill the office which just broke my heart so we started working from from home for a couple years and then i'm like well at this point we got to get closer to la and i got to get back to more contacts and you know, probably the surf industry or the advertising agency world, and I got to get back on, you know, finding a real job again, I guess, you know, corporate gig. And through Arts Center, there's a job uh, program that they send out once a month, like, you know, hey, opportunities, got listings, and a alumni had posted a job at Taco Bell for freelance. And uh, so I sent her my, my book, PDF, and she's like, Chris from Art Center, I went there, come on in, I'll hire you. I'm like, okay, cool. So I go in, show her my stuff, and it's mostly just internal internal communication stuff. 
pick up work once a week. What year was this? And this was uh, 2010. Gotcha. Oh, so, wow. so eight, wow. nine, ten. So two years, we were like, what are we going to do? Yeah. Ended up transplanting to San Clemente because I loved it. It's got to be a surf place. It's got to be a surf town, right? Oh, yeah. So, and I love surfing uh, SC anyway. So uh, ended up transplanting to San Clemente. Got hooked up at Taco Bell for freelance, and it was internal communications for the most part. Once in a while, we do some pitch work for like big idea stuff for one of the agencies. Um, and uh, several years went by, but it was it was it was killer though. Cause I'd come in, pick up work, waves were breaking. I'd be like, uh, leaving my computer. Yeah. Nobody knows that I'm really gone because they think I went to the bathroom or lunch <laughs> and I would go surf <laughs> and then come back like at five o'clock and be like, oh, you guys good? Oh yeah, we're good. Seltzer, no worries. And then uh, a couple days a week, and then it finally started growing momentum. And they're like, okay, more work, more work, more work. And then I finally just clipped it and stopped doing freelance at, at like, like 12, 2012, okay. 13. And then um, one of the uh, just turned VPs of marketing, Tracy, said, we're going to get serious about this thing, Taco Bell. We're going to call it Taco Bell Design. TBD, to be determined. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start bringing the out, out stuff, the stuff on the outside, on the in-house, meaning we're going to do stuff that the agency would typically get, right? Which is like POP and store. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> Not quite, but <laughs> that was already passed. Those are the heydays. Yeah, that was one of the heydays. Oh, yeah. Big spike for TV when they had uh, the Chihuahua. We're, yes, not allowed, do, we're not allowed to use that, though. You're not, you're allowed, not allowed, to? allowed to? That's done. Why? So there's this crazy... Like PETA or something? License. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing that to all Possibly. <laughs> Probably PETA, dude. <laughs> so apparently there was a licensing agreement from the agency of record at that point, at that time, who owned the creative rights to it. Mm. And, oh no, Taco Bell, you don't own that. Mm. That's annoying. So when the campaign died. That sucks died for everyone. Day. We all love that. I <laughs> who didn't? So did me. I, I know. I, was, I, I, was, I legitimately read, though, that the campaign didn't work. What? It became famous. But it didn't get anybody to buy tacos. It just started how do getting you, people to how say, do you track that? It's yeah. TV. You're that's, just like that's what it says. It says they they wanted to ditch it because it actually didn't increase sales. Yeah, it wow. became like that's mind blowing. This fandom theme with like the yeah. popularity of the of the dog and you know the voiceover, mm -hmm. right? It was just a funny little thing they did. But yeah, undetermined it actually drove sales. Right yeah, now. yeah. Maybe we'll have to do I mean, more research. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At, any, at any point, like you're just gonna. You're gonna think about the commercial and then be like, "Oh, I'm down to buy some tacos." Yeah, that's what you would think. So. See, I'm with you on that. Yeah, it's that's it, what you think. It creates a brand imagery for you. What about the Target dog, right? Uh, that dog is. I actually, I love the Target dog. I like the Target dog I too. I had a friend who met the Target dog on what? a flight, on a flight with the owner he, or he caregiver, private. if you will. He had his own private. seat, paid for his own seat with I his own it. money. Yeah, he has money for sure. He has money. The oh, dog actually has assets, which is crazy. <laughs> Had its own seat, sat That's there. Some loophole for sure. How fucking crazy! I know it's so weird, famous. Like, it's tax right off. <laughs> yeah. The only millionaire. Dog I mean, there think is. about no. There's so many famous animals out there. There, there really is. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, Shamu is worth what two billion at this point. There, there's a. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> Shamu is actually a sad one, right? That's a whole movie. There's this dog. Harambe. 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 Like some billionaire um, mogul died and gave his whole oh god inheritance to the dog. No, <laughs> what, can you find this? Can what do you, you just, do with that? As some lady I in Miami see or something. That is so rad. In Miami, like, I know. Yeah. What Sorry, animal man. was it? You said a dog. A dog, and and uh, you want to look this up? I, I just want to see. Even know I just want to type in. <laughs> yeah, this Miami. Already been said. Yeah. Billion dollars. Don't test me, dude. I just no. I'm not testing you. I just want to see photos of her it face and the dog, and because that might yeah. explain things. That might explain things. Elliot's got to know. I just like visuals. Entire will. Yeah. See, if we're gonna see her and be like, that makes sense. Of course she did. Her family's psychic. Yeah, Miami. Wow, let's go. Matt I the, believed you the whole time, dude. I believed you the whole time. I just, I want to see it. But how cool is that? Like, that's awesome. Sorry, fam. Sorry, kids. Yeah, let's go to the dog. It's going uh, to the dog, and yeah. then they probably no, killed that dog. I that's think the dog a had, bummer. The woman had children, and the dog was just like world's wealthiest okay. dog. Yes, dog. Twenty nine mil. Wow, Madonna. Mil. How's that? Very like a good German Shepherd named Gunther. The, the four. Six, bro. <laughs> I think what, it's six. What if they ask him to like I'm make sexy. decisions and put like a red or a yellow and be like, yeah. whatever one he taps is going to me. Oh my God. Oh. Dude, you know how easy it would be Her to screw that dog Her entire $80 million dollar fortune. To the pooch. Oh, to Gunther the, Gunther the third. Gunther. Oh. oh, and it got passed down. 
inheritance. Oh, <laughs> the humans oh, who manage God. the dog's estate have amassed a fortune worth about five hundred million dollars. Oh, so the managers of it just like, yeah. Man, this is like kid actors. They That's can't what I'm telling take you. The money from it's loopholes. I don't get how That's the dogs messed up. Money. It's a beautiful what, piece what of property. I know. That's beautiful. Um, what does the dog do with the money? Miami doesn't do anything for me, but that house does a lot for me. That's yeah, yeah, so yeah. sick. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Anyways, uh, back yeah, to look Taco. At that dog, <laughs> they paid so much money for that photo. That look at that. It's beautiful. He has no idea what's happening. That too. doesn't even look. <laughs> I know. He's, He's like, I'm rich as fuck. He's Damn. owning it. It's a white no, he dog. He's got a gold chain on. Let's Holy go. shit, dude. That's dope. He can afford more than that. Too. <laughs> that's so yeah. sick. He's, he's, he's subtle. Wow. He's subtle. With his yeah, he's subtle. That is like so it. stupid. Hype beast dog. Hey, hey. <laughs> dog, isn't I love the dog. You don't like dogs? I said I love the dog. I'm just kidding. But the, uh, wow. the Taco Bell dog I know. didn't die too long ago. Oh, really? Yeah, like it was uh, kind of a similar de- deal. Uh, I, don't know oh. got, I don't know if it got royalties, but... <laughs> Look at I think, that I, thing, Isn't David Paris Hilton have that thing? No. There it is right there. Wow. I gotta see one commercial just for... Well, let's get a different sake. dog. Yeah, might as well. Is it one dog? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's horrible, dude. <laughs> I can't believe this is a Taco Bell commercial. Yeah, what, this has nothing to do with Taco Bell. I know. I see your point now, Case. Thank you. <laughs> but it made Taco Bell more famous, it so did. therefore more people would yeah. go. <laughs> oh, what? Walk right a little romance. The yeah, oh yeah. I think this is the Gordita one. Oh, this does have to do. Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking sick. <laughs> That's honestly. Wow. Now want I want some? some. 1997. Wow. Right, dude? You okay, so know. that was through an agency? I is think it was Sh- I believe it was Shine One more. One uh, more. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, it was a full. It's all about romance. Yeah, it is. So it still is, though. You see those new ones? What do you mean? That's the move. I, I, I'll bring it up after this. Oh, the bell one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not to hook you up, and it's like, oh. <laughs> I remember this one. Oh, my God, the pizzas. I was like, what the fuck Mexican is this? Pizza <laughs> Dude, Mexican yeah. pizza. Just, hey, it's back. Yeah. Is it? It's back. Yeah. Fuck Let's go. yeah. I should have got Let's one. Go. Go. Should have got one. They're, so, they're, they're selling out super Really? Quick. Like, crazy numbers. Damn. Damn. Crazy numbers. Isn't, oh. isn't the crunch wrap that wrapped? No. Ever. Really? No. no. God. It looks so similar. What is the difference? A lot. What did you search? You hey, let's look up what the difference is. French wrap is like a <laughs> taco supreme, but in a tortilla. Uh, in a and the pizza's got yeah. more layers. It's well, like a, yeah. Do you know the, the hot sauce truff? Truff? Yeah. I don't. Okay. Because I, I saw them do a collab with Taco Bell. What? Um, Not familiar. At a, at a few it. locations, though. I don't oh, think really? it was a nationwide thing. My roommate, one of my like really good friends in college, Started Truff, and they did the Mexican pizza. I think they put like their hot sauce on the Mexican pizza for a collab. Nice. Yeah, that's a good move. That's rad. Might have just been like West Coast or some local. Oh, here we go. I'm not seeing Truff anywhere. About oh. Truff. Yeah, oh, I did say <laughs> it was all over that article. <laughs> Dang. Oh wow. Yeah, that that breezed by me. Yeah, Limited there it time. is. So Truff fries. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wow. it was fries, I guess. Yeah, it I, do, I do recall pizza. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the fries, right? That was probably delicious. Okay, so, wow, good for them. Yeah, yeah. good for Trev. That's awesome. Good for everyone. Um, <laughs> everyone benefits from that. It tastes great. So, uh, what's a what's a n- normal day look for you at Taco Bell? Look like for you at Taco Bell? Two bean cheese. So it grew into this huge thing where we left off and started out with just the POP, which is the consumer facing food promotion stuff in store, right? Mm-hmm. And then it um, ended up hiring um, this guy Chris from New York, Tracy did as the creative director at the time. <clears throat> and he really transformed the agency, like got it legit. And this is started, TBD you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. And it just grew tremendously quick. And when you say grow, what what's growing? Well, growing in terms of responsibility, in terms of what we do and what we handle for the company. Gotcha. So it started up with just POP and food facing promotion for like restaurant level. And then it turned into uh, occasional collaborations here and there along with uh, the social. And then now we do a retail line and we've got apparel and we've Damn. got packaging. You guys have apparel? Oh, yeah, yeah. Taco shop. Taco shop? Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. How many, need, how many Taco Bell, Bell <laughs> locations are there, by the way? I need something. Uh, I think it's close to 8,000 in, oh. in North America. You have 8,000? Yeah. yeah have America. you been to all of them? That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Someone you, probably has, though. So you are technically the creative director of 8,000 locations? Are no, they, not... Well... Technically, no. in a way, so right? Chris got technically. hired. Chris got hired on, and then okay. at that point, I was still freelance. And I'm like, okay. I don't know, I guess. And then I'm like, all right, these guys are good. They're starting to wire it up. They're starting to produce some pretty cool stuff over and above just the food promotions. Yeah. 
and they started redesigning the packaging, which came out freaking insane. And I'm like, all right, I'm in. I want full time. So in 2015, I got hired on full time, and Chris ended up leaving, and he went to Hawaiian Airlines, um, and this uh, uh, gal came on, Jess, and Jess is now our ECD, and myself and three other creative directors run the day to day in terms gotcha. of all the all the creative. I was gonna say that's a lot for one it's, person to handle. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. So, do you guys do you guys manage different parts of the business, or do you manage like East Coast, West Coast, or is it all? Okay. Most part. The thing that's really cool is that all the designers get to work on everything, and time to time we also cross over. Yeah. On our different pillars of responsibility. So, uh, Brittany, one of the other creative directors, she pretty much runs all the uh, the food promotion, POP. Yeah, brother, get it. Get that crunchy. That's every teacher in high school is like, are you eating in my classroom? No. <laughs> yeah, you just hear me. that in the back. It's always the guy with the saggy backpack, too. <laughs> has, like, extra chips in there. You know what I mean? It's like three of those kids in every school. All right, those sorry. are the bean ones. Uh, yeah, they're all bean. Everyone? I made them all bean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said black beans. I was like, fuck it, I'm going crazy with them. I thought you said his was separate. They are, but those were like non tacos. All right, he's oh, explaining gotcha, gotcha. what he does so, at Taco Bell right this now. This is part of the deal. This is part of the deal. This is part of that noise, like ASMR, dude. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Did you hear that crunch? Yeah. Hey, that was like that crunch was money. 30 minutes ago, right? What? That purchase. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's still crunchy, right? Dude, that was. Have, have you minutes. ever done the chefs in Irvine? Done the so, okay. let, me, let me preface okay. that. Um, I heard, I don't know if this is true or a story or what. Jesus, that dude. How one taco. I know. What is this going down, on? bro. I heard there's a facility, like the headquarters in Irvine, there's chefs that taste recipes oh, Chef all day long. Yeah. And there's food testers what? that come in oh. and blind taste tests. Could we do true. that? I see him all the time. Tasting? Dang. Yeah, so Chef Renee is our head chef at Taco Bell. The guy is freaking legit. Uh, and once a year, he'll do like these extravagant recipes oh for like God. Friendsgiving. And a lot of it is based on the same ingredients that we serve in the restaurant, but these really elaborate. Just done up into crazy Like you wouldn't dishes. believe the, some of the stuff that he can transform the basic ingredients into to make a meal. And he has like, to make it for a, a billion people probably. Well, a billion people. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole sure. office? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> whatever goes into the restaurant. thousand locations. Right. Yeah, whatever go to the restaurant, right. It's, it's all North America. Chef and it's a little bit different uh, overseas and damn, you know, in international markets. But yeah, it's crazy. Our cantinas different food. It's the same thing, right? Uh, there's some some differences. They serve alcohol. OK, that's yeah. the main difference. Yeah, Main difference. And like damn. the Vegas store, they sell like retail and um, apparel and Oh, my God. They probably crush over there. Yeah, that sort of damn. Thing. Yeah, they, they crush. Dang. Well, sorry, please continue yeah. about your your the role. Are fun. Yeah, no worries, no worries. <laughs> so uh, Brittany holds up um, uh, the POP end of it. And I work on some of the stuff once in a while, depending upon what it is. And then Brandon, um, who's freaking super legit as well, uh, he's the former uh, creative director of Hurley. Sick. And he runs most of the social campaign stuff. So anything on social, on Instagram. It's epic, by the yeah. way. Dude, he is doing it. Re- you can see it's amazing. his fingerprint in terms of lifestyle photography That's and really capturing like all the colorful stuff in the moment. Our yep. photographer, or one of our main photographers, yeah. his dream is to work for Taco Bell and shoot, shoot photos. photos. Yeah. It, because of the Instagram, by the way. Sweet. And there's probably, if he's saying that, there's probably thousands of kids. Yeah. I oh, mean, sure. for a chain, there's, like, there's, come there's on. There's the retail stuff, right? Yeah, there's really good stuff. You guys put out some great Pretty content. Fun. Crushing it. So Crunching Brandon it. runs that stuff. Um, and then for myself, I do partnerships, packaging, wow. Jeez. some like activation Gucci? stuff. You have luggage? Yeah, man. You that, make that was, luggage? That was a collab. Hmm. With who? Oh, my gosh. Calpac? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Calpac. Yeah. Oh Who's Cowpack? I've heard of Cowpack. I don't know. I don't know who they are. <laughs> They're just people designing bags. <laughs> <laughs> Their bags are pretty legit. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's 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 super recent. Sounds like awesome. some sort of California government agency, though. Yeah, What's, right. Yeah, it's like Cal Fire, Cal. Not like Caltrans. Yeah, Caltrans. <laughs> Those nails are cool. The Dorito collab is probably just permanent, right? Forever. That's pretty baked in. Yeah. yeah. That's which is PepsiCo. Literally. So yeah. That's even in like the production line. Uh, Frito Lay. Sorry. Transfer Frito-Lay all that owns them? product. Yeah, free to lay. Free to lay. Free to lay. Yeah. Free to lay. When you when you guys got rid of the fiery Doritos Locos taco, I went mad. I know, me yeah. too, dude. Yeah. It was like one of my favorite. Fiery and the what's the other one? Um 
nacho cheese and cool ranch cool oh, ranch. oh man yeah, i wonder cool do, do you think dorito supplies all of the ingredients to taco bell or just taco bell just recreate it i just buy the chips no like the 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 seasoning like the seasoning on it and the shell I feel like they were just specially manufactured from frito-lay for taco bell wow interesting yeah that yeah. is so cool. wild yeah yeah it's pretty cool. legit what a crazy deal to make right there but it's a match made in heaven isn't it it really is if you're gonna yeah, have that shell, it might as well be that covered in nacho. That product crushed it when they launched it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Super, super legit. Yeah, the burritos with it in there was my game for a minute. I remember, uh, Matt, remember that one time? What? We were in Texas. Oh, God. May yeah. have been drinking a little bit, and you tried ordering Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah, I do. And you just, you <laughs> were laughing the drive-thru. so hard, you couldn't get the words out. I couldn't get the words out. I mean, I had uh, drinking a little bit and smoked a little bit of weed, <laughs> and uh, I... I just was laughing so hard yeah. because it was the way that you say the words Frito. Wait. Oh, beefy it, Frito burrito. Beefy, yeah, beefy, beefy Frito burrito. Right. right. And I was like, can I get a get beefy Frito burrito? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, excuse me, what? What was that Waco? We were in an Uber that? too. Uh, that was that was first uh, roundup. The dripping Springs. Yeah, that was the Dripping Springs. Remember that we oh, went to Desert Door for first roundup, and it's like kind of classic because. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, is it? I feel like Taco Bell probably touches on this, but I think uh, even. Jack in the Box does it more, just like the munchy yeah. high person. Late uh, night, late yeah. night, and then, late night, and uh, I think it's so funny and creative when, when you guys, when you guys do that stuff because it's like that's so true. Like you're, yeah. you're you're going to an audience. Yeah, you're preaching to the choir there. You know <laughs> what what is mean? it? The late night box. Yeah, There's, there was a munchies or something, wasn't there? A munchy word in there in one of the that was Jack. I think that's that Jack. Jack? Yeah, yeah. Jack. Does oh, that yeah. does that come out of your that's team? Direct. Like, is that there are people coming up with those concepts? Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, we work on a lot of. Um, uh, it's gotta be so fun. Activation stuff too, like so what's rad. the next idea or white paper areas, like dream up something, come up with something cool. That's which it, which is fun. Too. Any ideas of what the next idea is? <laughs> We've got some cool stuff actually uh, around the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Food wise or just what? Both, both. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, there's some cool um, 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 product development coming coming uh, up as well, and of course the return of fries will always be a big thing, and Mexican right. pizza will definitely be a, another comeback. Uh, lover, um, and believe it or not, like the Frito burrito thing was crazy, dude. They were amazing. Uh, there was like a cult following. Yeah, I'm part of that. Menu. I'm part of that. Freaking I'm part of it. Too. Actually, you know what's dude. crazy yeah. is <laughs> speaking of cult following, the Baja Blast. How did you lock that in? So that's PepsiCo. PepsiCo uh, used to actually own Taco Bell for a while. Wow. What? And they're a primary provider of soft drinks. And they developed Mountain Dew Baja Blast for Taco Bell. That's so good. That's, That's so only random. For Taco Bell. Why did yeah. I? You didn't not, know that? Yeah. I just didn't realize it. And they have the freeze. Well, they and they have the. Oh, they started they, canning it recently. Yeah, yeah. And okay. Go down what? To the store. It's, you see Taco Bell brand, you know. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's, that's insane. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's really oh, yeah, love you, can Taco even, you can even buy like the Taco Bell shells, right? Yeah. 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 That's been a piece that we work on as well. We've got a full line of, you know, consumer goods in the grocery stores. Yeah. You get the hot sauce and stuff. Yeah. For sure. Taco night. Taco, Taco night. night. You can make your own Taco Bell and from a store. Yeah. <laughs> so we crazy. did that during COVID. It's a little bit slower. Yeah. Crunchwrap Supremes. It's a little more expensive. And you made your own Crunchwrap? <laughs> uh-huh. COVID. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. like a crazy COVID. fold. Yeah. It's a crazy fold. Yeah, it's fold. a crazy we fold. Shoots, I'm like, still like You got to get a small well, tostada and a big tortilla. Big I think tortilla. it's all about like the panini press. Yeah. Or the, you could just do something to really push it down and get it like brown on it yeah. yeah that's all factors. you need that's one of the factors oh <laughs> it's, it's a lot more than that but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn that sounds so good i didn't get any actually i think i got you one what really yeah i got you a uh, black bean crunch wrap oh not for you <laughs> I, do, I do eat that actually it's one of my you do? yeah crunch wraps i remember there was a period where they were 89 cents or something like that crunch wraps and i bought a lot of them <laughs> <laughs> it was right at the time where might have been high school I was bulking. <laughs> I was bulking. I'm just kidding. So <laughs> I, ate, I lived on those. That was 89, 69, 59. Oh my God. Mm. How, how, that was a whole campaign. Unbelievable. Wasn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah. 89, 69, 59. Yeah. Crazy. Remember that. Damn. So how, how, much, at, how much of the uh, market share or how much are you competing with Del Taco? Not at all. Really? They're like just uh, dominating they're, them? What do you mean? They're regional. Yeah. They're a little bit of California. Oh, wow. California. oh Del, really? Del Taco is like, I think. California, Arizona. Yeah, yeah, Arizona uh, as and well. Maybe. Oh my God. Yeah, New Mexico great. or something like that. So who's your closest? They're obviously a competitor in in our zone. Yeah. You know, they're in our backyard. Is California the the biggest market share for you guys? Or I don't know what how else to word that. A really good question. I don't have an answer for that. What, I feel like what is comparable probably. to Taco Bell? Because eight thousand like locations. Wise? Just anything that's comparable, like Chick Fil A. What's the most comparable oh, thing? Oh, in terms oh. of QSR. Yeah. 
QSR, what yeah. does that mean? Quick service restaurant. Oh, got it, got it, got it. That's the... <laughs> I'm learning, yes. dude. It's a good day. That's the PC version of fast food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, QSR. got it. QSR. It's just, yeah. Let's get some QSR tonight. Like, what would be comparable, though? Well, I don't know. major competitor, of course, is like McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. Okay. They're the king. Okay. Yeah. In terms of uh, dominance and how many, how much volume. But... Uh, they have more than 8,000? Oh, yeah. What are we talking, like 12? I don't even know. 20? It's massive. 50? 100 million? I, I would guess 40,000. <laughs> 40, in how the many? U.S.? Oh, no, total. In the world. No, no. Let's go U.S. Let's go U.S. Let's do U.S. Yeah, I bet it's... Okay, everyone guess. In the U.S., I'm going to guess 15,000. Yeah, I'm going 23. Damn, that's specific. I'm yeah, gonna, right. yeah. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I, I think I'm you know gonna go 41.79. <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm so going yeah, eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. This. What we got? Oh, eighteen thousand. What was that? Is that case? Mm -hmm. Wait, eighteen thousand. Yeah, case. You're close. Yeah, 18, there are whoa. eighteen thousand McDonald's that's in North America. Fucked. Let's go. Oh, in the USA, it operates thirteen thousand. Oh, like, so, oh, so that's me yeah. then. Let's go. All right. Hackers. All right. But yeah, Champion. But we're we're crawling. We're crawling a lot closer to those boys, but they, they better watch their watch their arches. <laughs> How international? Oh, yeah. How international are you guys? Completely, like full everywhere. everywhere. China. Oh, sure. I thought China. you said how irrational. No. <laughs> uh, we are completely <laughs> irrational. We are crazy. Completely We're all crazy. Irrational. <laughs> international. Oh, international. Yeah, it's growing rapidly. Um, Central America, uh, Japan, India is quite a few. Um, gosh, UK is yeah. growing as well. Canada. Um, that's our biggest our biggest quest. In terms oh, yeah. of growth and opportunity for the business is international. Mm -hmm. And there's probably different agencies for each country. There is. And that's the most difficult thing is like keeping the brand identity consistent globally. Yeah. But the only way to successfully get it out there, obviously, is use smaller agencies or medium sized agencies across the globe because they translate, you know, translation for languages and have to have somebody on the ground floor there to yeah. be able to, you know, quarterback the stuff out yeah. to the, uh, um, to the uh, to the public, so yeah. Which should be you guys, because you guys are the home base of Taco Bell. We're finally right. starting to get a grip on it, and just last year we did a big international like, here's the rules, you guys. Here's the program, and we're going to use this type of icon iconography. Photography gets used this way, brand colors, you know. So a real distinctive brand guide nice. on how to really control the growth and yeah. keep it consistent, which is yeah. pretty tough. That's wild. Yeah, I can only imagine. That's wild. What was the move to bring it back to Cantina? Because that is, you guys are the only QSR out there <laughs> um, that what do you mean bring provides it back? alcohol. Because we were talking about it briefly earlier. Just oh. to bring it back. It provides booze. Bring it all back. Yeah. What was the move there? It seems like a very bold move. Well, we've always been like the restaurant who's not really scared yeah. and definitely into bold moves. And you right. want to always shake it up, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I did it. And the cantina um, idea was birthed of just that, doing something different. And why not offer some some local beers as well? And then they did, uh, like, I think it's like a rum infused. Um, oh my uh, god! Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Oh, oh really? God. That's what they are. Oh, rum that is Baja insane. Blast. Is there and hard alcohol other than rum? I guess. Uh, just uh, just fused in. It, okay. You can't like order shots. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't think. Just curious. Right. <laughs> Unless uh, you know the bar. Is it a bartender? You guys have a bartender in there? Not necessarily. Yeah. It's just How does that work? <laughs> it's just like you just pour it out. Alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. You're like a beer tender kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a fused fused tender. Fused. Yeah. Fused tender. Yeah. Damn. So it's fused together it's for for a blast, right? Yeah, like I, I gotta say, I've never been to a cantina. There's that one in Newport. Yeah, yeah. one in but I've it, never it's, been in it's it. New. It's new. It is new. Fairly new. Fairly moved. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, a couple years. It was old. there no. while we were there. It, it was, was there, there while we were there. Before. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, Remember, we would go to Stag, and then it'd be right there. It's definitely been there for less than five years. Right there. It was always a Taco Bell. It turned into a Taco Bell cantina when we were like 22. Yeah, that's not new. I mean, if I grew up here, yeah. I go to Newport every year in my life, relative to our lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> it's not saying much, but it's relative for sure. But the cantina, cantina thing took off. I mean, um, are there a lot of those locations? A uh, fair amount. I don't Just have a Vegas. number on it, but now the Vegas is is one of the flagship stores. New Orleans, it's like super legit. Um, and there's there's quite a few cantinas. Yeah. Do you just pick party zones? <laughs> Same thing. Kinda. How would you like like? Well, like you said, like stag bars right across the street. Yeah, it's a perfect yeah, it's spot. Baja Sharky. Like, like they're going to do it in like a. 
like a n- normal part of town. Yeah, but that sounds like a sick bar. It's yeah. like let's just go, let's just get food and drinks and just take they're, it there. They're definitely smart about it. Let's just take <laughs> it there. <laughs> they are Small a business, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, rum and food. I mean, you guys are offering beverages. Oh yeah, we, yeah, we, we were at one point. Yeah, we were not not anymore. There it is. Oh yeah, I saw those. Oh yeah, yeah. we did. We did that with Range yeah. Rider. Cool. That was, so that was a strict collaboration. Um, but we do want to get into the alcohol industry at one point in our lives. Right. Rum infused t-shirts. It just absorbs. <laughs> it's like reverse. You'd like suck on it. Ring in my eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's if you cool. want to water it down, That's just legit. get a little workout in. That's really cool, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Like that. Um, yeah, we we're psyched on that. So going back to your grab me every one. day. Yeah. Actually, just a When you step into Taco Bell at 8.30 in the morning or whenever you get in, I don't know. Yeah. What, do you, what do you do from start to finish? What's your day? It's meetings all day long. So now we're we're still for the most part working remotely. Okay. The sick. COVID, and people are coming in like on Wednesdays once in a while. Uh, it's not currently mandatory, but if you got the time, cruise in. But we became so freaking efficient from working from home because there's not a lot of distraction for the mm-hmm. designers, <clears throat> and we can really mow through work and do even more uh, because of the remote uh, thing. What's interesting though is before COVID hit, we were already doing this like cycle because we ran out of desk. We started going oh, really so fast. And so it was like, all right, Selter, you're you're a floater, man. You don't need a desk because you're kind of- You're a floater? You're a floater. <laughs> we're you're gonna floater. take your desk. You're like, what? Where do I go? <laughs> no desk for you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had like couches and kickback zones in the That's office. That's cool. So let's kind of float around. And then um, we had this big magnet board, which is like, Selter's a floater, Rolex is at home one day. Uh, Brittany's a floater because she's also a creative uh, lead. And uh, wow. uh, Michelle and- uh, Chase, you guys are at home Wednesdays and Tuesdays, and so, so we, we, were, we were already space. prepped for like COVID. So when it hit, we're like, all right, Zoom, no problem. Got it. You guys <laughs> so do you need to be a good drawer to be in your position, or are you more so like overseeing other things? It, right now, at this point, I'm not designing. Yeah. Once in a while, I'll pick something up. Very rarely. Yeah. Do you miss it? I do. Yeah. And I'll do some stuff here and there just to be like, see, boys, I can still do this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can make it like, just make it like this. No, No, I've really tried to like stop doing that as a leader. Yeah. Because it and try to provide guidance versus and direction versus like it needs to be just like this. Yeah. Because the vision for them is different from what you see. That's one of the biggest battles in creative. For sure. You guys know. Yeah, uh, we definitely know with Eli. (laughs) Eli is the same way. He's like, this is how it has to be. (laughs) That's that's cool, but this is how it should look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we trust Eli. He's a creative genius over here. Thank you. You wouldn't see it. You wouldn't just look at him and be like, well, (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Love you. We love you, Eli. He's a special human. I love you, Eli. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. We all love you. Can we get up and hug right now? (laughs) Quick break hug. This podcast is brought to you by <laughs> Eli. <laughs> <laughs> EliVault.com. That's fun. Uh, that's fun. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't even remember where we were at, but that's sick. I didn't realize. So you guys are just outgrown that building. Why don't you guys just get a bigger building? So that's part of the thing. We're, uh, we're trying to figure out the corporate space to accommodate like 63 people. We're up to 60, uh, 60 plus heads. And we're still hiring. Sick. Right away. Yeah. And uh, we're looking at a place potentially for production because we're bringing more of the photography in-house and doing less you know official third-party photographer studio shoots because we've got a photography team in-house now cool cool and well if you ever need to outsource our buddy snack farmer <laughs> we'd love it i love i love yeah. it yeah i love the, we'll connect the two we'll of connect you, you. Who's, you the, don't, who's the snack farmer well we'll actually keep his, his name's up. ryan ryan velasco yeah he's actually he, from rancho cucamonga yeah. You brought that up earlier. That's what made me think of it. Oh. I think I know Ryan Velasco. No. Do you? I think I went to high school with him. No, no. he's our age. Yeah. Unless he's like Benjamin yeah. Button. <laughs> 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 no, it was John Velasco. That might be his dad. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's dad. Holy shit. No? Like oh, my God. That's about to blow my mind. He's been shooting photos for us since day one. Man. And oh, check out that shoots awesome. He's photos. the man. I know. Looks like Endo. He's seriously the man. Who's but, that guy? So he does like surf lifestyle. Was, you do yeah. studio you, stuff. I mean, how many Vlasics are there? Not his, that many. his, you definitely know. From Rancho Cucamonga too. His, his dad's name is not John. Maybe it's but uncle. Could be his uncle or cousin. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. Let me text him. Please I'll do. hit him up. Yeah, he well, would. Funny. Yeah. If anything, just mess with him. Even if you're like, I don't need it, he would be. He would freak out. <laughs> He's legit. I mean, I don't know if you know Chris Bertard or anything like that, but he was working at his studio and now he's kind of branched off doing his own thing and. He's crushing it. Those are beautiful. Yeah, he's great. Really nice stuff. Um, and he eats a lot of Taco Bell, so he knows the brand. He knows Atta the product. 
You know what I mean? It's he lives on it. We actually brought you in here to do a job application. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is all for Ryan. Kidding. He linked I it know. up. Crying. Yeah. I rarely call him Ryan, though. That's Taco Bell weird. reminds me most closely, just because this is the only other really big corporate company to work with, of course. There's a lot of, like, comparisons. Wow. That's so random. That's really yeah. bitch. I know. No, you should serve stretch. cores. Let's <laughs> <laughs> hear it out. I want to hear your I brain think that here. There's, there's a certain level of corporations where things are just like run differently and i think right. you guys are at a similar level Fuck yeah that's a huge compliment Coors is great i don't know if Wait, talking about is way bigger than Coors or one is bigger than the other that's a good but question that's a really good question i what have you, no what idea you, what do you mean by that because just Miller, how the Miller business Coors is I don't so mad it's not like there's like Coors. Yeah. no I, I was i was talking about Coors banquet specifically yeah so. i mean they're a great team i don't get that <laughs> i know it's hard to compare what do you, to apples what do you and think oranges, the different size of molson Coors is to talk about what do you mean by size? Like, are we talking straight dollars right now? Dollars. I mean, Taco Bell's got locations, bro. You can go in. Molson Coors owns like a hundred thousand. Yeah, beers. I'm gonna have to say, and they own so thousand? many beers. Not, not actually hundred thousand, but they own so many. Probably a hundred. I would guess about a hundred fifty. Oh my god! Beers. Ryan said yes. What? His uncle no way. Is John Velasquez. No way. No wow. That's <laughs> crazy. What a small world. So he wow. actually was junior high. I met him in junior high, and that's when I got Woodstock. Wow. No wow. way. Yeah. This John is an Velasic. insane. Were you, oh, were you good buddies with him? Or yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, we were pretty good bros. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we ride uh, BMX after thought. school. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's, that's dope. dope. Nothing out there but back then. Damn. Damn. That is so That is so bad. random. Snacks rich. I wonder what John's uh, brother's, what's his net brother's name? Or the, John? The John's Snacks brother. Snacks' dad? Snacks' dad's name. Um, oh, yeah. Blanking. I'm blanking. I don't know. Oh, Rory. Rory. No, not Rory. Wow. Something with a random one. Something with an R. Right. I know. I was going to say that too. Right in the second. Um, wow. Small, Maybe it, no, it is Rory. Small world. Rory? I think so. Wow. Rory Vlasic? Yeah, it's Steve. Is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I would have guessed, honestly. We'll That's crazy. Wow, great family, though. That's too cool. Huge shout out to the Vlasic family. Um, we should just Photoshop every photo where we're holding a Coors bang. We put and a it beefy five layer burrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I'm here down. you just have two bags. Of <laughs> <laughs> these part, yeah, these right here. Easy. Yeah, you're grabbing like a Crunchwrap Supreme out of the water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you keep going into that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, I, was talking about, yeah. I was talking about is sizes funny. of businesses. That's what you were going for. That's what I was talking I'm gonna about. I'm going to guess. That is such a random thought. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at a Coors bang. Like, oh, 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 Taco Bell are that's, so similar. That's For the what? only. <laughs> that's the only brand that we work with directly. Yeah. That is at the corporate level. Yeah, they're a huge company Ellis. for sure. A huge company, but they're also like when we went to the brewery in Golden, it did. For I mean, it was a huge building to be honest. It was insane that a business could be that big. However, everyone there was awesome. Like it didn't feel. However. It didn't feel. Well, I mean, that's what you think. You think of big, and I'm sure you deal with that, honestly, being at a huge company yeah. and in the creative department, right, where it's fun and you have a small team. I mean, 50, 60 people. Yeah. That's not that big. I mean, that's a big team for creative, but it's not like there's thousands of bureaucratic. Like, that's what people think sometimes when they think of the courses of the world. You know, what? What's Snack saying? Just text me and said, wait, my uncle's name is actually Randy. <laughs> 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 I love that you didn't know. That's, that's classic that's snacks, so bro. Cool. That's goes, snacks. Now you know. Uh, wait, but John is a thing, though. So John, is, John a is a thing? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Maybe like a cousin or something. Oh, my oh, God. Man, that's, that's so funny. random. What the so hell? That's, we're, we're living that for a minute. I know. <laughs> that's classic <laughs> snacks, honestly. <laughs> that's so classic. <laughs> you forgot. Wow. He only has one uncle. Good stuff. Wow. wow. Well, now you know him. Now you know him well. Um <laughs> That is a classic him. Yeah, is that something you guys deal with when you, in terms of coming up with creative concepts? Like, how can we represent the brand and brand identity authentically at this scale? Because we do it at a tiny level, so it's probably easier, you know, because we're, we're just tiny. We're small, it's like us four coming up with something. But when you have to go through 8,000 stores, and I don't know how many followers you guys have, but probably a lot. It's like approvals, How's that? Is that what you mean? What'd you say? Like the approval No, not the approval, or? but just trying to get the brand identity out authentically like, is that challenging at that scale yeah. well like you said like considering the approach to make sure it's going to be you know does it fit the company does it represent the company um is a lot of work and it goes through a lot of channels internally of course not just with approvals but like the creative concepting and ultimately presenting and problem solving and making sure it's the right fit it's 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 a lot of work to yeah. get something off the ground and actually I bet. get it to you know nationwide all the way out yeah it's, it's rad though that is rad. Super, super fun. 
Damn. That must be sick. And you guys can probably do like local, like the truff thing, for example. You guys can do local yep. pushes and stuff, which probably helps. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to go. Did you figure bigger. out, John? No. You're I'm smiling over there. You're just laughing. About Randy's. I know. Sorry. Randy's <laughs> the perfect uncle name, by yeah, the way. I had a awesome. neighbor named Randy from Wisconsin. Really? Yeah, he just moved. But great guy. <laughs> he lived next to me my whole life growing up. Oh. Huh. I know. Randy. What up, Randy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, Randy. We love you. <clears throat> so you live in San Clemente <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. And you work from home. Uh, currently, yeah, we're going in once. So I went in on um, Wednesday of last week to okay. do a photo shoot. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Is it fun, or do you just prefer being at home? No, it's killer. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love doing shoots and you know working with the team and More I like. Their, I still like to get my hands on and like really yeah. get into like in depth conversation about creative and why it actually has a reason to work for the company or. It's got to have like a you know a solid belief behind it. Not For just sure. it looks cool. Yeah. You know, give me a, give me give me some roots, dog. Yeah. You know, totally. that emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. You guys cool. gonna get into that whole metaverse meeting thing? <laughs> it's like remote but in person at the same time. That is blowing up, right? That is, yeah. I think. Metaverse Cantina. Hey, hmm. Cantina Meta. What's metaverse? Yeah, yeah, should open up stores in the metaverse. Yeah. What's what you metaverse should? meetings? What do you mean? What? Like, what is, is it? You don't yeah. know? No. You didn't watch that whole Mark Zuckerberg thing? When no, I never it? watched it. You didn't? No. Like an hour. I could learn something it was, right now. It felt like a Black Mirror episode when I was Snacks watching it. Snacks actually sent that, totally sent that to me. Did he? Yeah. Dude, it blew my mind. I actually only watched a couple clips on Instagram when it first came out, and then I had some free time, and I'm like, I'm going to just watch this. But that's a huge <laughs> aside. But nonetheless, the meeting thing, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a Zoom, but virtual reality, and you can kind of more professional you're not like dressing up like a dragon you know you're like you can be in like a suit and shit it's like this immersive experience that yeah. you not only meet but also have different like communications and experiences yeah through. it'd be like this but we're, we all have goggles on we're at home yeah and then you're just like and then we're all in our room that is so trippy i know but so that's gonna be really common pushing it. They are. Yeah, they really Facebook's are. Facebook's really pushing it. Yeah, so crazy. my head would just get like photoshopped onto a person in this chair. It's like. Yeah. It'd be like we. Like yeah. I don't think. That it's, is kind of scary. And you could just make. Have you ever person. tried the Quest? You ever messed with that at all? You ever the, done the VR? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, I've looked in it. Recently? No. Dude. It's crazy. That's crazy. Blew my mind. It's come a long way. It has yeah. come a long wow. way. My, I was. Tri- I don't know what it's called, but I did it for like 30 minutes. My buddy had one. I tried it. And when I took it off. I was looking at my arms like they weren't, I was just like out of reality. It freaked me out. I didn't feel like my arms were connected to me anymore. It was trippy. Crazy. Yeah. They aren't. They aren't, actually. <laughs> 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 they just fall off. <laughs> uh, that's wild. But I was just throwing that out there for shits and giggles because yeah, you guys are remote. I mean, so okay. you think you'll stay remote then? I have a question. Kind of makes sense? Yeah. This box. Yeah. What? Did you see, did you make this box? That is a Kinetic Taco 12 pack box. So our packaging line, the design is called Kinetic. Kinetic. And it's got like this really cool mathematical way to create the bells, how they interact. And they Whoa, become what? like this really organic shape um, with this mathematical little equation. Mm, and what? that's our packaging theme. Like the this combo here? Oh, wait, I guess it's on both sides. Yeah, yeah. That? Yeah. Wild. So the packaging suite is called Kinetic, but it's got variations of that. And then it's got a color coding that uh, sprawls across all the, the different um, items that's of the dope. suite. Now what about the wrappers? Yeah, those two, that's a, that's also kinetic. Kinetic. Oh, really? And that's sick. How do you choose what the tomato is going to look like? You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> iconography, make it simple for back of house. Yeah. That tomato's got it. Sour cream? Okay, cool. Those, are, those, those guys are cranking. Mm-hmm. I mean, like the goal is like three minutes and 30 seconds. Whoa. Per item. Per order. Yeah. Or per the full wow. order. Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> That's insane. And it's that's that's moving, especially with like more did complicated products, like a crunch wrap. Yeah. So when you're designing well, they, a product, you're thinking about. Did they fold the crunch wrap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. It's all right there on the line. They Whoa. make it make it in back of house. That's insane. And then uh. I wonder if they just make this out. down. Yeah. Damn. Uh, I forget what company it was that their goal or what they would say is like your order is ready in less than five minutes in the drive-through. Anybody remember that? Don't. There was a sign like with like a timer it. counting down. Our, a lot of our stores still get have it. timers. Was, really? Yeah, a lot of them. Wow. For, for like employee review or? Uh, it helps the customer understand like how, how gnarly it is. For. There's this weird anticipation like and you kind of start coming out of your skin quickly in the drive through because you're in a rush. You went there for a reason because you want quick food. Yeah. And there's a line around the freaking building. You're like, oh, man, two minutes, three minutes. All right. I'm, I'm close. Three minutes, four minutes. All right. 
That's and, and insane. It, it, you feel like you have a satisfaction, right? Of like, yeah. dude, under five minutes, it's psyched. I just got a huge, huge bag of food. Yeah. I need to be more patient now I think about it. That is insane to ask of anyone. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, that's insane. I wonder if counting backwards is like a psychological thing to be like, oh, I'm almost there. And then you get it earlier. Start at 10 minutes. Like you have set a timer. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Interesting. And then the food's actually ready in like seven minutes, but they just like are hanging out. In the <laughs> <laughs> they made one extra target for themselves. <laughs> You're just still waiting there and you just see them like patty cake in. Yeah. <laughs> patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Fair, man. <laughs> Um, had a so are you, are you vegan or vegetarian? No, I'm mostly pescatarian. pescatarian. I mean, I'll, I love like some serious uh, pork tacos or shredded, shredded, shredded Damn, pork. Carnitas. But I mean, the cholesterol started getting a little up there. Mm. And I'm pretty healthy conscious anyway. So yeah. I'm like maybe less than 2% okay. of, of like meat. So you'll get how maybe once a year. Maybe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's two percent uh, body fat. Oh, right. I, know, I thought you were gonna say that. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm super lean. Fuck yeah. 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 What do you work out? What are you doing? You surfing or surf, surf, surf? That's it. Yeah. Where's your local? Bra- like, what's your local? Lowers. Lower. Yeah, Fuck yeah. 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 I'm gonna see you out there. Yeah. Nice dude. <laughs> yeah. Locked in. If I haven't seen you already. Through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm up super early down like with um, the morning boys. So like five a.m. What are we talking? Yeah, this morning was four fifty-five. Oh, I was oh, proud of this guy. Damn, gosh. dude. Dude, it was freaking. Firing. Yeah, so bit. It's about as good as it gets. Yeah. Wow. Not too big, just the right size, glassy, 190, 195. Yeah. Um, mm, juicy. Yeah. Um, Damn, we dope. just we just moved here in July. July. Yeah. Oh, and, nice. Yeah. yeah love so, it here. But uh, like September, October, you know, oh, that, that time, that's the goal. That's the goal. It is. That, that was, is golden. Yeah. I was trying to get down to lowers as much as I possibly could in the morning. So yeah. I probably served with you a few times. Yeah. I just didn't even know, like, you know, it's, it's so a funny, funny crew because you're probably talking to all the boys. And then I'm just like this random guy that I try not to say anything. I'm just sitting in the side trying to get you're a smiling. Laugh. Yeah. Please. So. We'll hook it up, man. Yeah. Sure yeah. <laughs> He'll push you into one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's that out there, too. Some yeah. of the old boys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For yeah. sure. But yeah, love that place. I'm definitely addicted. Yeah, it's a sick spot. Damn. So you've been surfing there for years? Yeah, we surfed there a lot as kids. We'd come down from, from the Etta, from Etta Wanda. That would be our spot in the 90s. And uh, we'd camp, um, camp there. We used to camp right there on, <coughs> um, at um, uh, Calfia all the time. Mm. And at, um, at Cotton's, we'd camp at Cotton's all the time. Damn. Nobody would ever hassle you. Damn, that's so rad. And, they just uh, got rid of some shack, yeah. actually. Did you see that? Yeah. We were there that day, remember? Yeah. It was yeah. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And our buddy was the, what is it, like lifeguard cop? Is it just oh, a cop? Really? Yeah, but he's he's awesome guy. He just felt so bad. He's like, yeah, this is the order, and it was just. You yeah. Remember that was it? Was at bad? uppers, right? Uh, yeah, at uppers. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. gnarly. The county, the the heads the county line or whatever. Yeah. State patrol. It was yeah. like the end of an era. It felt like we were just trying to. Well, surf. they rebuilt it. Oh, they did. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw. Fuck yeah. Moved there you go. But I think they tore it down again. Oh. <laughs> and they what? rebuilt it again already. <laughs> All that driftwood comes down, and they build like little huts. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, there, there's definitely some interesting dudes like yelling at the at the lifeguards. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Is it like, just because for the state, or is it those mansions up the hill, or what are we talking? Like, who's yeah, who's, who's who doesn't want that? I think just it's a little like, hut. There's like a county line where it becomes state beach, uh-huh. and some of it becomes oh, not yeah, like city right. or something like that. Yeah, it's state and, and federal. Yeah, Technically, federal. lowers and all that is on federal land. Yeah, and it's all part of that. Yeah, and then state parks st- starts right at like. Uh, where the trail is at Uppers. Yeah. Right there in the tracks. Uh, the tracks meet and the trail meet. Yeah. Um, and then you've got... There north. Yeah, you got all the houses on the cliff. That yeah. Become a state park. Yeah. And I think they're saying that, like... You can't have that on you federal. You can't have it on state beaches. Oh, but on federal is fine. I don't know. We'll yeah, that's a good question. I think yeah, they just want to keep clean. And yeah. Sano's got, got like the whole Palapa set up, right? The Sano right. Surf Company. Or not Surf Company. Well, Sano's, Sano's, Sano's again state. Hey, what? So just the trestle zone is federal? Uh... I don't know. Trestles, churches. That's, that's I mean, weird. Imagine you could park at churches. You're right. It is yeah, you state. can park at churches. So it's basically you Pendleton. A, you have to have a military base yeah. pass for part of Sano, and then there's the public zone for Sano. Yeah. Why does the federal government own there's Well, because a it's slice. part of the Marine base. And then that's what? Because the San Mateo River? It used to be illegal what? to surf there in the 60s, and you would get... Like guards would pull you out of the water. So fucked because it surfs perfect. Yeah. And you're like, like, no, look at that. Yeah, my dad has a story my, about that. Yeah, my, so my stepdad. He's mm-hmm. like, dude, it was like the real deal, man. Mm-hmm. They would fact, just pull you out. Yeah, like eventually you had to come in, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, sorry, it's boys. Surf as long as you get. <laughs> yeah. And long. then eventually they did a, um, I think X amount of years lease, um, oh. for <clears throat> for it to make it public. And the lease is actually up for renewal right now. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Like if it doesn't it's, go through, we're fucked. 
<laughs> what is that? If, it, if it doesn't go through, I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, wow. I mean, there's so many people that surf there every day. I can't. I mean, the whole I was it the toll road or freeway that was going to come right through here. That was a big issue. That was a big for a one. Time. Yeah. 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 That one didn't go through, but I heard they were trying to run it again. I don't know if it's yeah. going through. I mean, it's, the traffic's got to go somewhere. I get it. Yeah. Was it, it? Was it? Sorry, this is going back to this morning surf <clears> session. But was it crazy crowded? It was ridiculous. Yeah. Did you get some good ones? Yeah. Yeah. Early though. Yeah. Like that. That first forty minute, thirty five minute window, I can usually get at least a five or maybe a ten pack uh -huh. if I'm lucky and really, really like good yeah. spot. Yeah. But <clears throat> it, even when I pulled up at like four fifty. Yeah. There was eight guys in the water. Gnarly. Yeah. It's still dark out. Yeah, just barely. I yeah. wish I was but a like, morning person. But like full moon, we'll go out there at like two in the morning. Oh, damn, we'll that's we'll dope. Moon. Whoa. That is cryptic. Yeah, that sounds insane. so fun. Really wow. amazing. Oh, my like, God. You got all the phosphorus coming off you when you're paddling because it's, you know, usually everything kind of lines up in, in September and October because the water's still warm. Yeah. Moon, offshore, it's good swell. Jeez. And there's like three or four of us that go out there at two in the morning and... It's growing, but it, it's something special for sure. Cause you can see, like, it's incredible. Yeah. You can actually see. Sounds oh, awesome. absolutely. You yeah. can tear into it. Oh, damn, that sounds sick. I'm, I'm down. Really cool oh, experience. I'm going to come. Yeah, let's do that. that sounds <laughs> Sorry, great. you just told me I'm coming. We're out there. <laughs> <That sounds dope. laughs> well, I, I, you can go at two. I'll go at three, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Stagger it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Stagger it, I mean. It's special, though, for sure. I mean, that sounds really cool. that place with just a few heads is, like. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Did you um, surf it with uh, like the water glow? I forget what that's actually. Yeah, the phosphorus. Oh, you know is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So the algae is like you know the phosphorus, and when you're paddling, where you're behind your buddy, it's just it's just trailing off of them. Yeah, it's so and, cool. And then you you see a wave come up, and you can see fish just bolting through it. Damn. No way. That's some I, avatar I surfed shit right there. at like 11 p.m. when that was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, it was really cool. It's a trip. It was hard. The it was first really hard. Times to you're like, no, really. what is going on? Yeah. It's it's a little a little mesmerizing at first. Yeah. Can we get a little video? Yeah. I've never actually surfed it. I've seen it. But Pretty cool. I, I but then see you like see the bigger fish, and you're board. like, whoa, bro. What's the other yeah. word for it? The Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really into that for a second. Bioluminescence. Yeah. Oh, this smells really good. They're trying good. to do I heard they're Yeah, when I was good. like living on the boat, I'd like pee off the boat, and then when you'd pee, it would, it would just like, splash like, everywhere. No, no, it would just like glow yeah. in the marina. It was crazy. Yeah. Damn. Put your hand through it. Looks all cool in mm -hmm. your hand, and yeah. yeah, it's a trap. Yeah, uh, that is literally cool the experience, though, Avatar sure. movie. Yeah, that sounds great. Dude, psyched! I'll see you out. Wild. Yeah, I know. I'm stuck to have another yeah. friend out there. Absolutely, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you need it those. definitely helps. Yeah, yeah it definitely sure. helps. I mean, we're buddies with you know like I don't know Kevin Schultz and those guys. Oh, nice. Yeah, we stuff, just had him on like, here. Yeah, he actually was our last guest. <laughs> oh, on that's here. a bad sign. Um, Sweet. But Phenomenal yeah, when you're just out there and, and you don't know anyone, it's kind of like everyone's, what is it? you know, everyone's a little eggy if they don't know you and like yeah. stuff. So I totally get it. I come from a beach. It's a great it's wave. Like that too. And I'm just like, all right, you know, you have your spot. So I kind of just chill on the side and wait for my turn. But um, it's such a good wave. Like I want to get to know people. And like now that I'm local, you know, sure. kind of like when I paddle out, I want to say hi to people. And yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys look like you're having a good time. So. Yeah. And you're a social yeah, it was, butterfly. It was definitely intimidating as a kid. Yeah. Like. Fletcher and the boys ran it back then. It right. was like Arch. It was like, yeah. Dude, those guys were and gnarlier crazy. back then. Than gnarly. Now. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It was weird. I actually ended up hanging out with those guys when Mayhem started. And that was an interesting experience. But because um, they partied a little too heavy. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Praise God I got out of that one. Yeah. yeah. But I uh, ended up after moving back to town or moving to town rather and started surfing there again. Um, like you're saying, start meet, meeting up with some of the locals. And it's it's some serious cool camaraderie I mean, yeah really good 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 bunch of bros yeah for yeah. sure yeah and all the pros are super legit i mean yeah of course they're gonna get the waves but yeah everybody's like oh man go for it yeah like mm -hmm. mix yeah. mix in town he's yeah. super polite yeah yeah mick actually cut me off one wave <laughs> but <laughs> in a good sick. way it was actually a cool thing because he cut me off and looked back and i was like oh my god mick's cutting me off he looked back kicked out of the wave that's cool and i was just like that's awesome the guy that's is stuff. super polite yeah. yeah that's sick yeah i think yeah. he has a house in town right yep right that's sick yeah Mick, the man. He is the white man. Lightning. White, white lightning. White lightning. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I like that, too. You went deep. You went deep in there, <laughs> yeah. though. I went deep. It happened. Yeah, to the back of your brain. Well, we are at time. Mm-hmm. Well, well, dang, boys. Yeah. This was super freaking rad to meet you guys. Yeah, it was yeah. great to meet you. Can't tell you how much I appreciate, like, coming on and checking out your checking out your deal. Yeah. 
I think it's stoked on what you're making. Thank, thank you, you very I'll, much. I'll have to get you some hats and shirts oh, and, yeah, yeah, before you leave. Sick. Yeah. I was actually on, online. I'm like, one of the, uh, the basic black one. Mm-hmm. You guys are sold out. Oh, oh fuck. I yeah. think we are. You're right. Yeah. 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 Maybe we'll find something. We got, we got new stuff here. It's not online yet. Oh, yeah. Insane. Like Reserves. Up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hook you up. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So stoked to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great to hear more about you. Let's hammer down some tacos now. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go.